Well, you guys, it is, uh, it's still pretty early Saturday morning and I'm still in my robe. <laughs> the internet has just went out. That means I now have zero cell service. Where we live, they turned off the 3G towers. I have 5G on my phone, but it, regardless, it affected everybody's cell phones. And 90% of the people that had cell service at home now have none. So what they had us do was update our phones and enable the Wi-Fi calling, but that only means you have cell service to make a phone call as long as you're on Wi-Fi. Well, I have no internet now. That means... I have no internet and I have no phone. I have no way of making a call. It is what it is, but it's just a little annoying. I don't like having two children at home and no way to make a phone call. That makes me uncomfortable. So I think I'm gonna start looking into another cell service. I do still have my old cell phone we use for business purposes sometimes that's still on AT&T but the thing is AT&T back here I have a bar but it's never been enough for me to actually make a phone call so it's a little annoying we are in the the backwoods here it's just frustrating frustrating and aggravating sometimes hopefully the internet will come back on though we did have some winds last night and people lost power so I'm thinking they could be working on everything or I don't know, another tree could have come down and knocked the yeah. internet out. But the internet goes out at least three times a week now. You know, I love where we live in Kentucky, but I tell you, when you run your business with internet, it can get really frustrating, really quick. And there's not many other options of, like Verizon is our Appalachian Towers run off of Verizon but everybody that switched to Verizon is saying that they are still having the same problems because the 3G towers aren't working anymore, which I don't understand because I have 5G on my phone. It doesn't work. Not here anyways. Now, when we went to Florida when Chloe was little to see my parents, I had it the entire time down there. When I go to Pikeville, I pick up 5G over there, but not here. But anyways, enough about that. It is beautiful outside today, but it's cold. I think what we are going to do, we was just having a lazy Saturday morning, but I think what we're going to do. Go, baby, go. Yeah. All right, count. One, two, she she is such a little cheater. She won't never say three, and she always takes a... Three. Oh, you did say three that time. <laughs> little turkey. But when her and Colton races and does that, she always go one, two... And now she's doing three, but she'll say one, two, and she'll start running, and Colton's still waiting for three. All right, count. One, two... Sissy, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you little turd. Ain't supposed to cheat. You're supposed to wait till three. But anywho, I guess I'm just going to get some cleaning done. I don't have too much to do, but my, my windows back here are covered what? in... Yeah. Are covered in little fingerprints, handprints everywhere. Yeah. So, these up here the other day, y'all... These windows, Chloe decided to put gravy in her hand and paint my windows. I went through a half a bottle of Windex trying to get that off. These need cleaning, so. I think I'm gonna run the vacuum in all the rooms. The only place we don't have carpet is the kitchen and the hallway, that's it. Every other room's carpet, but I think, I cleaned these ceiling fans the other day. I think I'm gonna do that living room and the bedroom ceiling fans and vacuum. And uh, maybe if it warms up a little bit, we'll go outside or go for a ride in the car. Maybe go get a milkshake or something. We gotta find something else to do. Our lazy Saturday. The good Lord decided it was time to get up and do something. Look here, y'all. Our first piece of equipment showed up. First piece of equipment? Yeah. This is the first piece we got here on the, on the, on the facility. We got a little pond on the track here. We're gonna try to clear out. 
I think that should be pretty easy to dish and get that running. I think I get this thing dried up. We got company. Got more people coming in now. This thing will be dry before you know it. You already see the movement starting way back here. It'll be dry before you know it. Got distracted before I go in here and get started on vacuuming. Wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. Olive oil, cayenne pepper, and lemon juice. I've seen this doctor that has social media and he was talking about how that combination right there is amazing for stomach ulcers. So I started doing some research on it. I know most of y'all have heard me talk about bad stomach issues that I have. I have bad stomach problems. I mean, sometimes my stomach pain will put me down for the day. It's that bad. But I've been doing that for a little while now. And you guys, I mean, I was like, what can I lose? You know, it's olive oil, cayenne pepper, and lemon juice. What can I lose? Not kidding, you guys. I have not had a stomach ache since i have been doing that once a day in the mornings i get up and it also stimulates blood flow just do some research on it for me i have absolutely not had a stomach ache since i've been doing that no joke they say what it does is the cayenne pepper heals the attaches to the ulcer and heals it somehow and we all know peppers are good for blood stimulation blood flow but so far not kidding, it has worked. I've not took a Prilosec, a stomach pill, nothing. And I actually, the other day, put a little bit of milk in my ice cream and mixed it up. I could never just drink milk like that. And it didn't bother my stomach. It, it didn't hurt my stomach, so I don't know. It's I believe it's working. And that's a plus for me because no stomach aches means a happier, healthier mama. What do we got going on here? Mm. Hi. Oh, what are you cooking up in there? Bye! Hi! Look at my stomach. You don't want that? Cece, do you want um, strawberries? She wants strawberry, Bubba. Bye, Cece. Thank you. Bye! Hi. What you doing in there? Are you cooking? Is that your restaurant? Is that your food truck booth? Or food truck booth? Mama ain't right, is she? It took me like five minutes to find a good battery. Started on the cleanup. It's a big place to eat, y'all. It ain't been touched since the flood, so it's a little extra to do. A lot of raking, a lot of debris. It's all right. We're gonna get it done. I can tell you this right now, my truck is gonna have my cooler in it, and if you ever see me, I'll probably have a cold drink for you, but I'm dried out, I gotta go to the gas station. They're wild, and my allergies, y'all. Whoa, this is gonna be rough. Well, all the dust and stuff that come off of that hay has got my nose plugged up. I am miserable. I can't breathe. I like my nose is plugged. What's up, bud? I seen you coming. No. Oh goodness, there comes CS2. I want you. I want money. What? Hey, don't touch it. Don't touch it. 
Stop. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What do you guys think you are? Are you okay? What are you saying? You being wild, bud? You had a good day? What did you think about the big chicken? Are you cranked up? She is a jabber jaws. I want to rainbow. What? I want we eye. Yeah, that's your eye. All right, I'm gonna have to let them crank down a little bit. They are bouncing off the walls. Seeing climbing around on the floor again. <laughs> this one's rough. Yeah, this one's rough. You're on a little bitty walkway. No, you've got to move your head. I'll show you, I got next. <laughs> so I did a mistake. I actually had more of this vlog than I could actually use, but the first part of it we filmed, this camera I'm using, has a button right beside the on and off button that turns the camera to slow-mo. Well, for one whole day, I did nothing but film slow-mo. There's no audio, no nothing, just us moving like. So I was unable to use it. It was all from the windstorm, all the high winds we was getting here. It, it's gone. Anyway, so we're just moving on. What I've been doing today is this right here. Let me get a little closer for you. Mountain Motor Complex. The Facebook page for the track is now live. We'll be posting all updates, scheduling, and rules on the Facebook. So if you guys are interested in coming to the race or just keeping up with what we're doing, with the racetrack, jump on over there. Mountain Motor Complex on Facebook. Everything is going to be there. And I don't know what's going on, but this camera has started shutting itself off. Just out of nowhere, it turns off. Y'all heard little mama talking about the chicken ball. Excited about the chicken ball. Well, he fell over. Here is the chicken ball she's talking about. Would you stand up? Come here. Right there. There is the chicken ball for the chicken ball race she's talking about. I should really make you jump on the chicken ball. <laughs> I might in a little bit. I, ha I ain't got... It's early. I don't even have a thing on. Brock! I'm still eating my breakfast. What are you all eating? <laughs> they don't <sighs> have breakfast way early. I've been trying to fast a little bit and make it to at least 11.30. You look like it with a creamsicle in your hand. Oh, no, no, no. You've done eat four of them, I know. Have a Did mama have an ice cream? You ain't gonna tell on her. <laughs> she was a mess. Yes. Yes. Is Bubba a mess? Yes. 
Well, it looks like you guys ain't a mess no more. I dare anybody to say about anything about that. It's not your kid, so leave it that way. Ain't that right, bud? You don't look like a mess no more, sis. Hey, I figured we could go outside. It's sunny and warm. Well, I mean, it's sunny and warm. Well, we can go outside and get diapers and wipes. He needs pull-ups. Well, of course, but I mean, there's no. Hopefully, there's only one soon pack of wipes. He won't need them at all. Maybe at night, but I'm not gonna let him have any more of them. Well, I'm gonna working on it so the camera just shut off again if you guys are inspiring to do like vlogs or stuff like that video do not buy this sony zv e10 here the last week i've been having nothing but problems the camera keeps shutting off and glitching it's doing weird things it's the camera that does the stuff with the light in the kitchen too this is a horrible camera like Sony really dropped the ball on it. Their Z or their their other one, the smaller one than this, good camera. This camera, not so good. Not a fan of it. Definitely one day gonna buy another one, but this Z V E one ten or E ten is it's junk. What is the issue new? Because I got the sidewalk chalk out and she wants it now. It's going outside with us. No, you draw on everything in the house. Literally, we give them the sidewalk chalk one day. Don't, or actually, I think mom gave them the sidewalk chalk, and she ended up drawing all over the fireplace, the walls. Like, eh, it come off with a magic eraser, but we don't give it to her in the house no more. Cause she's like, she's a Picasso. She's, I think art's gonna be her thing. Literally, I don't even know if I'm catching anything. This camera just keeps shutting off. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because I'm having issues. He's butt bumping the bedroom stop cut it out yes your mom is in there she's getting you stuff so you can go outside and play can't you be happy with that yay yay you're going outside to play so quit bumping the door do you want to go play sis you are okay right i'm going to polish this up get this ready for you guys to watch tonight you see, we're going good. Once everything is said and done, this track's more operational. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, seven o'clock, you can guarantee on seeing us. And then possibly on Saturdays too, after Friday night race night. We'll just have to see what happens. I just put clean clothes on. Well, I'm, this is socks and coats. It's 55, but the wind's still blowing. All right, before this kills out on us again, we love y'all. Stay positive, guys. Stay country. And stay true to your roots. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Stay positive. <laughs>